Today I'm gonna share with you a few ways I've been training myself to get comfortable underwater. Hey, I'm Shin, and some of the reasons I started training my lung capacity is because of improved fitness, longevity, and getting closer to freediving someday. The natural first step is to get used to swimming lengths underwater. It was tough at first. I got a breath there. <laughs> but after a few repetitions, my lungs adapted. I find that tapping into the calm of the water helps keep the heart rate low. Now I was ready to play some games. Okay, here's the plan. I start right there, I collect all the toys, and then I go back there to the finish line. So that's the start and the finish. These are the toys we'll be collecting. A quick sink test before we begin. I started slow and steady, collecting them one by one. And then upped the ante to collect all of them at once. <laughs> when they were too far away, I had to learn how to get down and stay down. Too much diving. I couldn't stay down. Spent a lot of energy there. Oh, that was hard. So then I progressed by using my environment to conserve energy and gain distance. All in all, this exercise proved to be a super fun way to train myself underwater. An hour of training slipped by without even realizing it. Next, I practiced static holds and max holds underwater. That was pretty long. Okay, and ready. It's important to have someone with you while doing this. Never ever practice breath holds in the water alone. I can't think with these on. Okay, so we're here to do a carbon dioxide tolerance training exercise. Once I was comfortable with one round of holds, I raised the stakes. Coming up, hold in 15. I've created guided videos for beginner, intermediate, and pro level CO2 tolerance training, and that is what I'm using here. Here we go. Three, two, one, hold felt moved by the water so it was like I gotta stay still because I was expending energy and I started feeling a little bit of panic just it's so weird it's so calm and peaceful down there but my head psychs me out so I gotta like really practice calming my mind mental it's all mental it's a mental game what I've learned through these exercises is that building a trusting relationship with yourself is key Practice leads to experience, and experience leads to trust. The only way to get over the fear is to expose yourself to it, slow and steady. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. Um, step one of 100 maybe, see what we see. And that is it for me. I will see you in the next video.